Hey guys. So now we're working on this V Star 950 and we need to replace its rear tire. So we've got a 27 inch socket on the rear right side and a 22 socket on the left and use the breaker bar to loosen things up we got the nut washer and we've got the brake caliper holder and it looks like maybe a shim in there so we're just gonna tap that out Let me get a proper hammer. All right. This is a belt drive system. Spacer came out on this side. Another spacer. It ain't gonna fall over this way. It's still in its kickstand. The, only, the worst thing that could happen is the piece over there fall out from under the kickstand. Right now it's, and if I put this here, then it can't even fall. Can you actually come over here and pull on this axle? I'm going to try and get the torque tension off of it. Oh, no, I just did it to my Is that moving? Is that still moving that axle? Yeah, it is. Should be about to fall out. A little bit of tension on the belt. I don't see why that would be preventing it from I don't understand. It must be this. I think it can be. What I'm suspecting is that the belt tension is causing. stay up once that comes out. What piece? This? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it will. I should be most of the way off. This one's gonna be seriously hard to get back on, I tell you what. Mm -hmm. okay. You want me to see if I can? Yeah. Alright, so I got this bushing. And after this, oh, the fender's in the way. Of course, it is. So we've got this cover that holds the license plate in the way of the tire and there's screws right here they're the safety kind that need the hole it looks like can't quite see I could be wrong but eh, I think I'm wrong anyway it takes the Allen wrench regardless okay it's just a regular Allen it's got this flange on it we got two of these, one on either side. Well, it also had these two nuts with flanges as well, holding it up right there. And these others were on that side piece right there. So it's loose, it's out of the way. We can take the tire out now, I believe. And we got this guy. So we got it as far as we need to to deal with the tire. All right, peoples. So this is the 
V-Star 950 rear tire. You can see the wear bar there. This tire was done. All right, so I put some foam down on my uh, tire mount and tighten this down good. At least try to. No need to be too good to get that first pop. Okay, let's take the air out of this sucker. See what I'm doing here. Because of this tire's rims width uh, and the added padding to prevent from scuffing up the rims, this tire doesn't want to sit on the stand properly. So what I've done, I've just put a couple of boards underneath on this side so I can get the pressure here in order to pop the bead. So we will try to get on that. I'm going to have to adjust this placement. It don't want to pop. Nope. It is cold. That's probably not helping. Just gonna keep working around it a little bit. The world is going on here. That's like all of my weight. <laughs> Virtually. And she don't want to pop. Well, she popped, and of course, I didn't get it on film. Let's see if that'll pop. Or is it going to be just as hard? I bet it's going to be just as hard. Yep, she's being just as difficult. Oh! Smashed my finger a little bit. That's okay. Oh, the new tire is not so hard to get on. Okay, I'll try this again. There she went. That was me bouncing most of my weight. start taking this tire off. Takes all right so that worked but i did i used the mojo lever to pry the tire way down it's cold so it's a little harder then i was able to get this two by two block in there and then it slipped right past the right place so i can lift this up before i do that i'm going to tie the tire so that it doesn't spin and move everywhere on me So 
That'll let it move a little, but hopefully not too much. This is particularly hard part on this tire. There we go. All right, well that was a bit of a beast to get off. Uh, but she came. Do yourself a favor and warm these tires up before you try to remove them. Make life a lot easier. Put this away. All right, here's our new tire. Let's see if we see any directional on it. I don't think so. Uh, there we go. Spins, spins this way counterclockwise the way it's currently sitting and this is the drive so this is right let's see if i can just push this sucker on on the bottom with a little bit of lubrication around the rubber Spoon in over here, keep things from moving. At least try to. On there. Now we'll spin this white dot around, the, I mean, yellow dot around to this side, and we can attempt to wrestle this sucker back on. Okay, we're back to it. My phone had died, so I had no camera to record with. We are back to attempting to put this tire the rest of the way on. I'm gonna get this side, try to shove it on a little bit. Get some spoons just to touch a little bit further. in the way sorry guys you're not here and you're already in the way oh. all right so now what we're doing got the tire part way so I need to go around it and put some blocks down here so it's got some room Pop that like that easier and around we go all right that's kind of a block right here okay we're getting in a little bit of a sticky situation the idea is to prevent it from spinning this way Come around this one, and around this one. Okay, spray it down a little bit more. This tire has a ridiculous amount of air in it. Now let's see what kind of air we've got in here. All right, we got air in it to the pressure it's supposed to be. Next is taking this uh, clip off. I'm gonna try and do it without scratching the rims. And these rims aren't perfect anyway. I think I know how to do it though. 
Yeah, that's gonna work just fine. Okay, there came off no problem. Just with a plastic. Let's get this up on our balance stand. Level looks good. And give her a spin. Alright, she came there. Now let's take these stickers off. They shouldn't make any difference, but we will take them off anyway. I mean, that's, that's almost nothing. Let's give it another little spin. Have the direction, see what it does. Well, that's strange. Came right back to the same spot. Let's try this way. Yep, that's showing it is a little heavier there. So, this was a three ounce weight. I'm just gonna, and look, it was right here. I'm gonna put it back. Just. And look at that, perfect. And try this way, just for sanity. Ah, yep. It just needs that three ounces back on that side. So the rubber must actually be pretty good. It's just the rim itself is a little bit out. That's okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to tack that back on right there. Well, it's the next day and we're going to get this tire on this bike. So first thing I'm going to do is clean up all of the parts that go on it. We've got the spacer. You can see my floor has got a bunch of sawdust everywhere and stuff from woodworking. So we're just going to clean this sucker up real good. And as I finish, I'm laying it down in the order it goes. I mean, even everything just gets dust in my garage. But yeah, this piece goes on the inside. So I ain't putting it in there with it this dirty, but it goes in there between the spacers and this is what when you tighten the axle it actually tightens everything against this otherwise you would crush these bearings so don't forget this tube it is very important i have seen dirt bikes with this tube completely missing and the whole thing got ruined because the tube was missing i had to replace pretty much the entire rear wheel because of it all right now it's clean we're gonna put it back in here so i don't forget it see it sits between the bearings i'll pack those bearings with some just plain old high temperature grease wheel bearing grease that'll all get greased up when I put the axle in. Actually, I'm gonna grab the axle, which is right here. And you wanna, wanna clean this up. Let's see how dirty that is. And it's got just sawdust and dirt everywhere. It has been sitting here for a couple days, but and some of this was grime from being on the bike, so it's not all. It, but <laughs> the sawdust is certainly me. Except from some of this pitted stuff on it, it is clean, everything that'll wipe off. 
that doesn't actually touch anything, so I'm not concerned. The bear, the surfaces are here, here. Uh, this just kind of this sits like this. Um, well, on the other side of the wheel, but like that. Next is this spacer. And I'll also double check to make sure I'm putting everything in correctly based on the blow up diagram. I don't want to give something wrong, especially since this is not my bike. These, they don't matter if they're a little dirty. They aren't gonna, I mean, they get dirty. They're exposed. They're not gonna, I mean, I wouldn't put them back filthy, but I'm not too concerned with them. This is another spacer. This one actually goes, the spacer goes between this uh, belt drive gear and the bearing in there. But we're going to grease that up, make sure everything's good and clean here. Okay, these things like to fall out so bad, I'm actually going to take them out and put them into the tire. Now I can clean this off a little easier. Looks like there's... Yeah, there's a spacer right here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that out without hammering on it some. But it's backed up against the bearing on the other side here. You can see that. See that piece move? And to get that bearing out, I'd have to take this snap ring off. I don't want to mess with the bearing right now. It's in good shape. Really good shape. That doesn't look too nasty in there. I'm gonna add a little grease to it and call it a day. Oh, what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pack it into the edge down in there. Probably don't need to do this, but I'm a fan of more ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'm going to put just a little bit on the inside of here between where these two pieces meet if I can get it down in there. That should be pretty good. Now I'm going to actually try to put this on before I put it on the tire. See if that's a little easier because this was a real beast to get off. I'm going to take the spacer, put a little bit of grease on it and pop it in place as well just because it's riding against that bearing. It's got the axle in it. It's against a seal. So, there we are. There's grease on the axle itself. I checked the parts breakdown and there is supposed to be a washer on this end of this, but there was not. There was only a single washer. I suspect whoever did the tire previously forgot it and decided not to bother. But we've got all this correct, so I'm going to get the tire in place now. See if I can get this to go on without too much trouble. Why you gotta be so difficult? Come on. I'm between a rock and a hard place, guys. We're gonna have to. Yeah. We're gonna have to. It doesn't want to go in that way, so it's gonna have to go in this way. Come on now. Come on. 
You can do it. There you go. A little bit further. There you go. Yeah. Now you're in the right spot. Yeah. Let's see that. All right. All them rubber spacers still in place. I don't. It don't. I can't. It's being a grief. Come on. Uh, did that do it? Maybe. Come on. Right. You sit right there now. Don't you move. I'm trying to get your belt on. Maybe we can coax her in there a little bit more. Maybe that belt will slip. Slip, slip I say. I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to slip. Yeah, you got a little bit further. All right. Well, will you do it now? How about now? There we go. How do you feel about slipping right inside there now? Yeah. No, no, you're not allowed to fall out. Did I say you could fall out? You, you stay right there. You, that's your home. No. Now, you listen to me. I'm your boss. At least at this point, I am. Water back up. It's so close. You just ain't gonna do it. I ain't. I ain't gonna force it. So we're gonna pull this axle back out. Pull this belt back off. Now, come on. We're gonna stick this on the tire. Now we can roll you forward again. Push back where you want to be. Get this belt back on you. That's alright. You can do that for me. Mm -hmm. It's going. Not the easiest thing in the world. But she's going. Come on. You can do it. There you go. I just put this piece in. It holds the wheel in place. I got some neighbors that drive cars with the uh, with some modifications done to make them noisier. It's cool. They sound good. They're the they're the 350Zs or the 370Zs.